In this video, we're going to talk about using email flags and reminders in Office 365 in order to stay on top of those tasks that come at you via email. Many of us already use the follow-up flag feature in our email. We will hover over an email and simply click on the little flag. However, I recommend using the follow-up flag button in the toolbar and clicking on the drop-down arrow. Here, we can be more specific about when we intend to follow up with the task in the email. For example, we can say we want to follow up today, tomorrow, this week, etc. We can also click on custom and set a specific date for that follow-up. The reason why being specific is helpful is we can then go to tasks represented by a little clipboard icon down here in the bottom left. And here we will see all the emails that have been marked for follow-up. And these are now tasks. We can sort those tasks by due date. So if we just clicked on that little red flag icon, we don't see a due date. Uh, but if we use the option to set a custom due date or choose next week, this week, et cetera, we can sort by due date. Another great thing you can do here is you can add a reminder. I recommend doing this when you first set the flag. So we will add a reminder and we can choose um, again, we can set a due date. And the reminder can be on a specific day at a specific time. And this way, Outlook 365 will remind you to follow up on this email the same way you get reminders for your calendar. And so we can see here in the bottom left corner of the presentation an example of those, one of those reminders. We can snooze it, we can dismiss it, but it will remind us that we have that follow up task. Just a word of caution, when you are looking at your tasks in Outlook 365, if you delete any of these, these are actually your flagged emails from your inbox. So deleting these will delete the email from your inbox. However, you can still mark things off as complete without removing them from your inbox. Another quick little note for whatever reason in Office 365, if you click are you, if you're using the Mac client and you click on create new task, it will have you go through the motions of creating a new task. But again, for whatever reason, when you click save and close, that task will not be added to your task list. So I only recommend this for keeping track of tasks that come at you via email.